Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit Craft server. It's episode 14 and today we're starting things off at my ocean monument. It's not, it's not really much of an ocean monument anymore. For those of you who missed the previous episode of Hermitcraft, you missed a whole ton of progress. We managed to get all of the sand across, we then managed to take out all of the sand, we then took out all of the water on the inside of the ocean monument, and took out the ocean monument itself, leaving just this empty area right here. And apparently this guy, he, <laughs> he seems to have spawned in this one little piece of water right here. Which brings me on to why I actually did this. I saw a ton of comments down in the comment section asking me why I actually removed the ocean monument because I was going to be using it as my base. I, I could have just done this clearing process anywhere in the ocean. The thing is, is that guardians don't spawn anywhere in the ocean, they only spawn where the monuments used to be. So even though we don't have a monument anymore, guardians are still going to be spawning, and I'm going to be farming them. Hopefully, we're going to make some progress on the farm in today's Hermit Craft episode. So this right here is the design that we are hopefully going to be using. It's by a chap called Nembom, I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. And Nembom is a very, very smart Minecraft YouTuber. Incredibly smart. Far, far smarter than me, and he has done a whole ton of work trying to work out the most efficient way to create a Guardian farm. And he did some ridiculous designs, some of them completely insane, but believe it or not, this little thing right here is actually highly, highly efficient. It works incredibly well, and this is what we're going to be using to, <laughs> to actually get all of the Guardians. Hopefully, at some point in the near future, we're going to have ourselves a situation that looks a little bit like this. That is, that is totally, totally and utterly ridiculous. I'm so excited for this. I am seriously so excited. So project number one is we need to take out pretty much the entire bottom area of this thing right here because we need our level to be y equals 38. And right now it is y equals 39, which isn't particularly very good. So we're gonna have to wipe out the entire floor of this area, which I know looks really cool, but it has to be gone because we want this farm to be super, super efficient. Now actually one thing that I really quickly want to answer from the previous episode of Hermitcraft as to why all of this stuff was flashing during the time lapses, if you look really closely, it does actually change color. It takes quite a long time to cycle through the different colors, but it does change colour, so hopefully that answers that one. These right here should be the final blocks, so that one's gone, and then I believe, yeah, there's a handful over here that I've left over. Now, if you're wondering why I've left the pillars, I'm actually going to be using those to help me measure out where things are going to be going. I'm going to be aligning my build with where those pillars actually are. So, the next thing that we have to do is we have to create, like, a solid block platform type thing at y equals 38. So all of this, in theory, should be y equals 38. Yes, that's good. So we now need to create, yeah, kind of plus sign in the center right here. For the first time in this entire project, I'm actually having to do some manual sand placing, and I dread to think how long it would have taken to do this entire area here. Before there were sponges and before there were flying machines and everything like that, you just had to do it like this. <laughs> Oh man, oh I'm so glad, I'm so glad that I've never done a Guardian farm before. Sometime later, this is now pretty much all finished. Now, you may be able to notice that we have got sand underneath all of the blocks that I'm placing, and that is because I placed, well, I, I placed a ton of sand. So we have got sand all inside this structure right here, and that is making sure that there's no water inside this area, because then I think, as far as I remember, I think the guardians path fine towards that sort of thing, and we don't want them doing that, which is why we have all of these blocks to us. I could just be wasting my time with some of the things that I'm doing, but I'm pretty much building it block for block exactly the same as the one in the world that we literally just visited. So now that we have like the foundations, now that we have everything in place, basically, to start constructing this thing, I need to start working out where the actual farm is going to be going and how I'm going to be taking out all of the blocks. This is the shape. Now we've got to actually build the farm itself, so it is time for a third person time lapse of the bottom section. So in this beginning time lapse chat right here, I'm actually going to be talking about time lapses because in the previous episode of Hermitcraft, I had three time lapses, which is probably more time lapses 
than I think I've ever had in a Hermitcraft episode. And one thing that a lot of you guys quite liked is A, the fact that I actually did them. The fact that I kind of split up some of the builds into time lapses, but more importantly, the fact that occasionally I dropped in music. So I had one musical time lapse and I had two time lapse chats. Now, I think I might actually aim for that sort of balance in the future. I I'm getting the impression that you guys like the time lapses, especially on big repetitive projects, like, for example, clearing out the bottom half of a mob spawner, or like, for example, clearing out all of the sand and everything like that. That sort of thing doesn't really translate well in time lapses, so I'm kind of going to use time lapses for those sorts of jobs. And then I'm going to chop and change. I'm going to do the occasional time lapse chats where I talk through my day or whatever's really on my mind, just anything that I really want to get off my chest. And then occasionally I'll just drop in some music so that you can kind of, I don't know, so that you can kind of sit back and relax. I feel like, you know, I'm constantly talking to you guys. I'm a, I'm a fast talker and I'm a constant talker. I don't tend to, I don't tend to calm down at all during my videos. So it might be like a constant just blasting of words. And the musical time lapses will give you a chance to kind of sit back and take a breather and go, oh. Okay, prepare yourself for the next like 10 minutes of just blasting of talking. I hope that sounds good. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I think that's the strategy that I'm going to take for the time being. So let's pop back onto the Hermit Craft. All right, that is all done. That was a bit of a pain in the backside to create. I managed to mess it up, which is frustrating, but we got there in the end and this is going to be the bottom section. So this is where all of the lava is going to be going. That's going to be killing off our guardians or at least damaging our guardians before transporting them into the middle, ready to be killed. So this is like the main bulk of the build right here. This is a really important segment, but there is also the spawning chamber, which needs to be going on up at the top, which is actually where all of the guardians are going to be appearing. So I guess we should probably start work on that one. But before we do that, I'm actually going to place in all of the pillars that are going to make sure that our guardians don't kind of just swim around in the guardian farm. Now, the most optimum way of doing this is to make sure that the water is touched by a block on at least one of the sides. I think, honestly, you're asking the wrong guy here. I'm not going to be able to provide too much good information. I think you're just going to have to watch out for the video. I don't understand why this guy's got a name. <laughs> I don't understand the name either. <laughs> is that like a Crystal Palace joke? I don't know. Now this project does require about a million blocks of glass, so I think I'm just going to dump all of this in right here, and I'm going to check on the iron farm real quick to see if we've got a whole bunch more, but most importantly, unfortunately I think I'm going to have to go AFK for quite some time while all of that gets set up. Eh, it's not too bad, but it's not exactly swift. Glass got smelted, and the top section of glass is now all in as well, so the pillars are in, all of the glass is in, the glass outer casing is in, so all of this glass right here, this is all going to be where all of the water is going to be going. This is where all of our guardians are going to be spawning, and then they're going to fall down to the bottom, and they're going to be killed off by all of the lava. So what comes next? I guess the, the top, we should probably do like the top of this thing, and then we should just start putting in... I'm not going to put in the water first, I feel like that's a bad idea, we'll just fill ourselves up with guardians. Maybe the lava. Yeah, the lava. Damn it! I hate doing that! We need about a million signs for this project, and every single time I craft large quantities of sand, I always craft at least, you know, 20% wooden trapdoors. I just don't seem to be able to do it. It drives me around the bend. Whoa. That's cool. I'm just starting to realise now that it would have been much, much, much easier if I had done all of the signs before I did all of the glass, because now <laughs> I, I can't really move around and I can't really... Oh, I, uh, no, it still would have been easier. And to make it all worse, I have placed all of the signs on the wrong layer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I put them I put them one block too high. It would have taken out a spawning space for all of the guardians, which would have lowered efficiency, which is yeah, not not my not my finest move. <laughs> when I said that this thing requires a million signs, it actually does require about a million signs. Uh, I have used 
uh, I think 12 stacks so far and I haven't even done the first layer and you need three layers of signs because you have two layers of lava and then you have the water stopping signs as well so you have you have the water and then you have the two layers of lava yeah I'm trying to get this straight in my head I apologize if I'm repeating myself <laughs> Okay, I think finally I am almost done with all of the sign placing now. And I tell you, I don't think I ever want to see another sign again. We have got signs there, signs there. Okay. Yep, we have all of the borders done. We don't have signs there. That's good. That's good. I mean, I'm going to have to triple check here because the last thing that I want is for my water to flow down and cause all of the lava to turn into obsidian because that would be that would be quite upsetting but as far as I can tell yeah the the full signage is all fully completed okay so top one is water then that lava lava and then water I'm such an idiot I swear I have done every single thing wrong possible with this design I've now placed the I've now placed the lava on completely the wrong I'm gonna have to check the design quickly. Okay, thank goodness. I absolutely panicked then, thinking that I had actually done this completely wrong and got all of the signs in the wrong location again. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let's remove all the lava and start again. Now, I don't know if this lava can be flowing or if it has to be like completely still, but I am using, so I've used 32 buckets in total to do that little area right there. Which means that in total to do this entire thing, we're going to need 128 total buckets of lava. Which means that most of the nether is now going to be cleared of the lava <laughs> on the way up to my portal. Which could actually look quite ugly. Oh, I don't really care. I really want to get this done. I can't help but notice something. This episode is being really, really strange. Because so far, I have spent about six and a half hours on this. And we only have about 12 minutes of footage. And when you compare that to the previous episode, I'd probably only spend about four or five hours on it at this point. Now look how much more work it looks like we did in the previous episode. <laughs> this, this tiny little thing right here, it looks, it looks pathetic. It looks so pathetic at this point in time. I can't believe it. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm just really inefficient today. So I've just popped in with the camera count right here just to triple check that I've done everything correctly. So if we fly up into this section, you can see we've got one full layer of lava. Yep, that is... That's looking pretty good. And as I say, I don't know if it matters if it's flowing or not, but it's not flowing too seriously. I try my best to stop it from flowing like crazy, crazy. Uh, it's a pretty flat area, so hopefully that shouldn't be any issues. And then obviously our top layer, once again, yeah, it's not too bad. We've got some flowing zones, but as I say, hopefully, fingers crossed, that's nothing too serious. So the killing mechanism is actually all finished, which is brilliant. I actually couldn't be happier about that. Now it's time to actually do the rest. Now, because I don't currently have any compressed ice for the time being, we're just using regular blocks right here. I will fix that up at some point in the near future, but I just, I really want to get this thing all finished. So I think what I'm going to do is now that we actually have the water streams in place, I'm tempted to just give it a tester. I mean, I really, really want to just throw some water into this system and see if these guardians are actually going to start spawning. So we'd have water here and water here. And oh boy. I'm going to check the signs again. <laughs> I have to. I can't not. We have like a small amount of water in and I just want to see. I want to see if things actually start spawning in this. Hmm. <laughs> am I too... Am I too... Too close to the water? That There's a chance that that's the thing. I mean, I just... If one guardian spawns, I will be happy. I'm not seeing any guardians at the minute. I mean, I would think I'm far enough away.
There's a chance that there needs to be blocks over the top of the water. I just, I really, I really wanted to see, like, Guardians just pouring out of that, even that tiny little section, but... Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep placing in the water. I'll, I'll just keep placing in the water. Okay, I've decided to start again with the water, and I'm just going to do it exactly the same as is in the world download. I highly doubt this makes any difference, but I just want to just make sure that I do all of this perfectly. Okay, here goes. All of the water is now in place. Uh, it could need blocks on top of it. In fact, I imagine it probably does. And we might also have to look into solid blocks around it. But... Still nothing. And it's only me and Impulse Online. So it's not even... It's not even mob cap things. I'm getting a bit scared, I'll be honest. <laughs> I am. I just feel like we should have had at least one guardian spawn. Come on. I'll put the blocks on the top. I'll put the blocks on the top and we'll see what happens next. We got some! We've got some! Oh, thank goodness we actually had some guardian spawning. It wasn't very many, mind you. But we actually had some spawn. Oh, there we go. Hey! There's guardians! Oh, they're flowing in! Oh, fantastic! <laughs> oh. I literally, I was, I was so upset. I was so, so upset when they weren't spawning in. I was, I, I was, yeah. I'm not even gonna go there. I, I was kind of in, in a, in a turmoil, I think is the way that I would describe it, because I just suddenly thought to myself, you know, what if I have done all of this wrong? What if it has gone horrifically wrong? Um, now, there are a number of things that I can do here. I think to increase spawn rates, obviously lighting up all the caves, that will have to happen, but also things like... Um, it's to do with the Y block value, so I think removing all of this... I don't know, okay? But I am going to remove remove all of that because that needs to go. But yes, we have got guardians spawning in the guardian farm. We have actually constructed a guardian farm in today's Hermitcraft episode. And it's functioning. And the guardians are totally dying. They are totally dying down at the bottom here. Yes! Fantastic! We could just chuck some hoppers down here and AFK and get loads and loads of stuff already. We don't even- oh yes! Look at them! Look at them! <laughs> oh, my first guardian farm. Sorry, I shouldn't be so excited about this, but I am- I am- I am overjoyed. I've got the biggest smile on my face right now. I'm sure this- this- this is really echoey because I'm kind of talking towards my other screen. But yes. Oh, what a champ. Honestly, it is so satisfying to just be taking out all of this stuff, watching the guardians actually spawn in the system. I mean, look! Especially when we're up high like this, you can just see all of them flowing down. We need to get some hoppers down at the bottom, and we need to start picking up some drops. Not only because I just want them, but because we might actually start lagging out the server soon. There's been a lot of guardians spawning. In my excitement, I totally forgot about getting any form of food. I think I'm gonna make it. There, there was a few seconds there where I actually thought I was on my way out. But I think... I'm hoping... We actually have some cooked fish in the super smelter. Okay, this place down at the bottom here is a little bit of a madhouse, but I think... <laughs> Look at this! They're just kind of falling down. I'm taking damage from them as well. But I'm going to try my best to chuck in like a handful of hoppers here. Oh my word! <laughs> this is completely manic. Uh, a handful of hoppers down here that are going to be picking up all of these items that are being dropped by the Guardians. And I think what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to start editing this episode right now. So I'm going to start editing the episode right away. And then once I finish editing the episode, we will see how many items we've managed to get in that time in these hoppers. Now I have to say, it seems like the spawns have slowed down a little bit, but no, they haven't. Okay, so let's see what we can get from like maybe 
I don't know, I'll time how long it takes. Editing is now done by this clip right here. The video relies on this final clip and we are going to drop down into the system and we are A, going to light it up because this place is absolutely lethal at this point in time. But more importantly B, we're going to find out if this thing has been a success or a complete and utter failure. Now I'm terrified. <laughs> I am terrified. I have heard a lot of guardians falling though. So we could we could have a decent number of drops here. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you joking me? <laughs> no way. Oh my word. I can't believe it. I've got the biggest smile on my face because this was not a long AFK session. I mean, jeez. Well, I think that rounds things up for today's Hermitcraft episode. Seriously. <laughs> we were... <laughs> what? What? Okay. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did... Please be sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Oh, and watch the latest video on the filming channel. Uh, they're they're all right. I personally quite like them. <laughs>